Welcome to WeConnect. On our show today, it's our privilege to welcome actor Ajit Kumar. Now, that's a title that sits very lightly on his shoulders because we do believe he'd much rather be known as a motor racing driver. Thank you so much, Ajit, for joining us. Now, you seem to have almost made it your mission that uh, you, you'd like to be known yourself as a motor racing driver. I'd Is that the to, fact? Uh, not true. Incorrect. Incorrect? Uh, no, I'll tell you why. Because I, I love motorsports. I love racing cars and uh, I wish to participate in motorsports and uh, just gain a reputation as a respectable race car driver so but I enjoy being a film actor too I mean uh, I worked very hard for 18 years and uh, today uh, whatever I enjoy in my life is thanks to what my film industry has given to me but again it has it wasn't given to me on a platter I had to work very hard to, to, to get here. And uh, yes, I think I, I consider myself very lucky and privileged to, to, to be uh, able to live my dreams. Right. Uh, indeed, um, is your dream uh, more to be a motor racing driver? I'd love to make a living racing cars. I'd love to. I'd love to. Does this mean that you might move away from films at not, some not, time? No, 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 not necessarily, no. Okay. Where, how do you manage it? How do you manage to juggle around your time, Ajit? Because I mean, you do spend a, a fair amount of the year actually racing, um, you know. So how do you manage to juggle around films one side, racing one side? Okay, this year, this year I plan to do it a lot more professionally. Because when I participated in the 2003 Formula BMW Championship and again in 2004 when I was participating in the British Formula 3 Championship. I was acting and racing at the same time. So there was a lot of burden on my shoulders and uh, very difficult to be 100% on the throttle when you're racing because you have a moral responsibility and uh, so so this time I decided that I would put my projects on hold for some time and uh, I have uh, decided to dedicate six months of my time from let's say end of March until September, just a motorsports Formula 2 right. and uh, do the best I can. Right. Uh, Ajit, but, uh, do you not believe that your celeb status really does add an impetus to the whole motor racing and the motorsports industry? I'd like to believe, uh, I'd like to believe and uh, I hope uh, that in the process of me participating in the Formula 2 championship, uh, I can I can bring about a certain amount of viewership, television viewership, uh, which uh, in turn will will popularize the sport. Because I strongly believe that today motorsports is still a very very urban sport, and uh, uh, I think uh, look at cricket. Uh, it, it's not a sport in India; it's religion. And because everybody can relate to the sport. And uh, I believe, I hope that uh, motorsports will also be on par with cricket in a few years from now, uh, like Brazil. Soccer is to Brazil as to what cricket is to India. And, right. But at the same time, Brazil, Brazil has also produced some of the world's best race car drivers like Nelson Piquet, the legendary Ayrton right. Senna, Massa, yeah. um, and, and uh, Nelson Piquet Jr. So, so, and they coexist. Right. So, but, but Ajit, you have to agree with me that motorsports per se is really the prerogative of the more well-to-do people in our country. It, it's an expensive sport, surely. I mean, how in the world can you ever make it accessible in a rural area? Are, are you trying to tell me that cricket is not an expensive sport? But at least it, it in cricket, Ajit, let me interrupt you here, please. In cricket, you can have, you know, one bat and three stumps and you know it, it's it's that much easier to play shall we say I, I agree but uh, but uh, look at look at uh, the automobile industry today I mean look look at every home today there is they have they own at least two motorbikes every home has at least one one car and with the nano being hmm. launched by Tata I mean it's it's a dream come true for everyone everybody can own a four-wheeler uh, so so you don't have to necessarily play a game to appreciate it like cricket. I mean, it, uh, 1.2 billion people follow the sport, but does it mean that everybody plays the game? 
women follow the sport. Indeed, yes, absolutely. So, so it, it is not necessary that you actually have to be actively playing a particular sport to, to be following it or to, to, to actually uh, be a part of it. So I believe, and yes, I mean, everyone is actually uh, on their way to work, on their way back from work or to college things. He's a Michael Schumacher or, or a, let's say, a Wayne Rainey or a, or a Michael Doohan on a bike. So mm. I'm sure it's all about relating to something. So, so it's all about, and, and if, if I can get people to just relate to the sport, I mean, uh, um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a hardcore optimist. I, I believe that. For you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hardcore optimist. Right. And I believe that, yes, motorsports will be as popular as cricket. I have nothing against cricket, but I love cricket. I played right. cricket in school. Right. I love the sport. Right. But what is the way you believe that uh, you can actually make uh, the motorsports popular I mean what is that way have you ever sat down and actually thought of you know what is the way that you can actually promote the sport I guess it's all about TV viewership it's all about uh, I mean look look at sports in America it all revolves around television all this all the games played or anything is, is within that three hours why is T20 very popular today it's three hours today people mm -hmm. don't have the time yes cricket started off with a five-day test and it it came down to one day, and now it's T20. Mm. And I think T10 to 20 is the future of uh, the sport because people with, with uh, lifestyles changing over the last 10 years, people just don't have the time. Everybody's ambitious. So I think this three hour span, attention span that people have is just fine. Anything more than that, I don't think people have that attention span. I mean, they start to deviate. So, and. I believe that if, if I participate now that my fans know that I will not be acting or starting my next project until let, let's say October and then another four to five months for the film to actually come to the screen uh, I believe that they will follow what I am doing they will not they will want to know more about what mm. the sport is all about because they will not be seeing me until let's say the mid of next year on, on the screen and and I'm sure and these races are being beamed live to I think 37 countries. Right. So I'm sure some channel would definitely want to make use of this because it's not just me. I mean I don't right. wish to sound pompous, but uh, I think it's for the first time that we're having three Indian drivers on the same grid. Indeed, right. I mean I have a tremendous regard for drivers from our country who've represented our country in different levels of motorsport: Narain Kartikeyan, Karun Chandok, Arman Ibrahim, Parthiv Sureshwaran, Aditya Patel, Ashwin Sundar. Two wheelers, Dilip Rogers, Pritam Devi Mopsis, they and, and they're all from here. And India today has a Formula One team, thanks to Mr. Vijay Malia. So there's a lot happening in motorsports today. Mm. So, uh, uh, right, uh, Ajit, uh, we will just hold on here a minute and we'll come back and talk to you about the rest of your project and what you're going to be doing for the rest of this year. Well, we'll go for a very short while and get right back to you on WeConnect and to this discussion that we're having with actor Ajit Kumar. Mm.